Hey everybody, welcome to my stream. Uh, wow, what a week. There's so much going on that I didn't even know where to start. Uh, I don't film these so often, so I try to jump in whenever something really piques my interest and there have been so much things that I've been like, I have to go live just to like, you know, put in my two cents because when I watch these videos or when I see a Twitter, X, sorry. Um, I'm like, oh my gosh, I just need to like talk to somebody about this. But unfortunately, nobody in my real life cares about social media. But I feel this goes a little bit beyond because these are just like, I feel like kind of borderline crit. Like, well, no, they, if, because these are all allegations at the end of the day. But if this is like something that, like this is criminal that allegedly, you know, cause these are all allegations. It's all thrown out there. I haven't seen any proof, so I can't really tell you, but long story short, Swoop came out with her thir third part of her documentary uh, with the whole clean Ballinger saga. And if you haven't seen uh, her documentaries, her docu-series, please go and subscribe to her channel. Um, I'm going to show you. Uh, so this is where I left the video because I want to talk. About, uh, I already seen everything. So, but this is her right here. This is Swoop. And so she is a very, very thorough YouTuber. I've been watching her for years now and I love, 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 love her take on things. I think she's very fair. She gives an opportunity to everybody to put in their, uh, their two cents. So I appreciate that. And she uh, was covering the clean um, drama very, very well. I really enjoyed her last two episodes, but this was, was like a 360. I was like, what the hell is this? You know, because I was thinking we were going to keep talking about Colleen. And to be honest, I felt like, you know, we, there's nothing else that she can say about Colleen that can make me feel even worse about her than I, that like for me, she was just like, I don't, there's nothing she can do to combat. Uh, so, when I started looking at it and I saw it was not about Colleen, but about a previously a, a victim, basically, um, what, or what we knew was a victim back then. I was like, holy shit. This, sorry. Uh, there's a whole other, like the whole other situation we have here. And this is the problem, you know, because a lot of us, like I've seen on this on social media time and time again, like people saying like, you know, I, I kind of knew this, like he was so shady. It was like this, this and that. And so I think everybody had that feeling, but we don't want a victim blame because at the end of the day, it takes a lot of courage for the victims to get out there and tell their story. And then most people really don't believe. So we are the ones that are, you know, are kind of like, yes, no, like we believe you. And sometimes like it takes you a while to recollect all the memories. Some things can be like spotty, you know. And so we want to give the victims that opportunity to feel free to just express what they want to express without that feeling of like, I'm going to be judged. I'm not going to be believed, blah, blah, blah. So the community was like super accepting of him, even though he really didn't even say any facts. And that was what a lot of people were saying. Like he didn't even show any proof of uh, what he was blaming Josh for. And so if you don't know the story, you're not really going to understand this video. So please, 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 please go ahead to Swoop's channel and go from the beginning from part one or just go and see any other documentary about this whole clean Ballinger drama. Um, I know H3 cover it really well. Um, you don't know H3 podcast, then 
I don't know what to tell you. You have to go. And I know a lot of people will say like, oh, they're so controversial. But Olivia did a really great presentation on the subject. It's very informative. And they did have um, the victims on the podcast, including Johnny. And he told his tale, you know. So um, basically, he accused Colleen Ballinger's ex-husband of him grooming Johnny when he was just a child, a minor. And we were all like, you know, like, oh my gosh, like this is horrible. But then when it came to like, okay, well, what did he actually do? He was just like, oh, well, he just had a big ego. He told me he was going to mentor me. He was going to take me all the way to the top. And it seems like with him, like his story is always like going back to like, I want to make it big. I want to make it big. And it, he's not making it you know he loves the attention he wants that attention she, he craves that attention but it's like he's trying to bring down too many people down to get to where he wants to go and unfortunately in this case he by saying that he was groomed by this man he just put allegations of the p word on this man and now come to show with evidence that Sue presented that it was never like that. You know, Johnny was just a fan, uh, a stan that was unhinged. He just got so obsessed with this guy and he thought, and literally his words, this was my meal ticket. This is my big chance to get onto the top. Like this, this, like he leached onto these people because he thought this is going to make me, you know, Oops, my battery is running low. I thought I would connect it. Let me check. Hold on. Well, there we go. Much better. So, um, so yeah, this guy it turns out to be he's a tremendous leech. Just wanting to get up up there on the top. And you know, I get it. Um, everybody's looking for the views. Everybody's looking for the follows. Like, I mean, come on. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's kind of like like you have to also do it for you you know like i'm here i don't have any followers i don't have any views but i'm still here because I, this is for me entertaining for myself um i want to find like-minded individuals that are willing to talk about these subjects but also like you know um i have a life i have kids i have a husband I have a full-time job. And so I just want to jump in here, you know, talk a little bit and that's it, you know, but I do it because this is entertaining for me. It gives me something look, to look forward to. It's just like a release of like stress and like anxiety. But other than that, that's it. You know, I'm not wanting to become famous. I am not wanting to become rich out of this. Like this is just entertainment. And at a certain point, it's not, stops being entertainment and it's just like holy crap you know I just want to um see how my voice can help or not even that but you know bring awareness it's more like that like you you want to like spread out the word because you see this time and time again when we make it like like oh my gosh this person is canceled like blah 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 and then all of a sudden everybody forgets and they get back online and it's like nothing happened and it's like you know so this is why this is so important for people to keep talking and to keep digging, not just believe everything that you hear online, because people online lie all the time. We have to actually get the receipts and get the information. And I think the way that Swoop did it was brilliant because you also don't want to victim blame. You don't want to like re-traumatize people by like push. <laughs> and pu sorry, by pushing in like for information, but also you don't just want to just take somebody's word for it, you know? So the things that were discovered was that Johnny was just basically a stand, 
got too involved. And I want to go through just a little piece of the docu series because, to be honest, like I don't like just reacting to videos because then you know it's like stealing content. I don't like it. You know, I I feel like these um, creators spend so much time. Uh, this is why I go live because I just cannot edit. Like I've tried it; it's like too complicated for me. And I feel like these people go through all the hassle of editing. They have teams. They have people they have to pay for. So the least we can do is just go there, watch the full video, click that like, and follow and subscribe so it's fair. So please go ahead and do that for Swoop. And if you can do that for me too, that would be great. But let's go ahead and see this. And that's the other thing, you know, like he was so broad in what he was saying that it like everybody interacting with a child is a groomer. It's like, no, you know, there's teachers, there's mentors, there's actual mentors that do this. And it's totally fine as long as you have boundaries and you know that what you're doing is helping somebody else instead of like, you know, there's no conversations about sexual subjects there's no conversations about alcohol there's no conversation it's all like light easy you know actual like an adult trying to mentor a child that's 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 okay as long as it's in it's not in a situation where there's a power imbalance and there is hopefully supervision by adults um as uh, preferably parents and even then, it's kind of shoddy because, like, there's some parents, like, we learned with Johnny's parents, they were, like, pushing him to, like, you know, um, get with these people because they're going to, like, make him famous, you know? So they are parents like that. We've seen this with Brittany, you know? So let's continue. That. And that's the thing, you know, like under his definition, defi definition of grooming, then, you know, um, he was doing the same thing that Joshua did with him. And I just feel so bad for Joshua because we all know how much he lost uh, through his relationship with Colleen, how much he went through. And now to be blamed for something he never did, he was just trying to like... It, he did a lot of things wrong, you know, but nothing to the caliber that Johnny was claiming. And so I just feel so bad for him. And I just like kept like texting everywhere, like hashtag justice for Joshua, because like that man has, I'm pretty sure he's has been going through it. Like he's continually being continuously being saying please leave me alone. I'm away from social media. I have a quiet life now. And Johnny was like, every single video, you know, like slamming at him, like, hey, you know, it was just now hindsight is 2020, right? But it's like, oh, And I mean, it goes through so much, but I just, at the same time, I don't want to like go through all of the video because like I said, like, I want you to go and check it out at the source. Oh my God. Thirteen years old. He was literally doing worse 
than what he alleged. And that's the thing, you know, with people like this, it's like you blame people. It's like cheaters, you know, like if somebody's cheating on you, they will blame you for cheating. And it's like, because they have that in their back of their mind that they did this, they feel like everybody's doing it, you know? And so I feel like it's so funny how you've been doing that, but you accuse somebody else to do it on you and you're so appalled, even though you're doing it with other people, like, come on. that right there oh my gosh when i heard it the first time you guys like oh i was so blown away like doesn't it give you James Charles vibes like like when he went on the I think it was on the Logan um Paul podcast or oh the impulsive I think it was impulsive um and he said uh uh where like the um, I can afford to buy a ticket or something like that and it's like but you were in high school or graduating high school or something like that. I, like it gives me those vibes, like that line right there where he says like boys and then it's like, well, men, you know, like Freudian flip, I, like, you know what you wanted to say. And it's like, hmm, you're exposing yourself right here. Boom. Boom. Sorry, I didn't mean to uh, be so loud, but yes, you know, yes, yes, yes. Like he is talking about sexual things like, oh, I want boys like men in my chat because like I'm comfortable in my sexuality. So you are admitting, sir, you are admitting that you want people in your chat for sexual purposes mm -hmm. let's move on oh my gosh this is like so long uh if the colleen ballander situation was bad this is even worse because we uncover like why is everybody that's surrounding colleen like this you know like, this is like a conversation that needs to be had because why is everybody It's a problem if you're seeking people like mine. Like, like I just said in the beginning of the stream, like, I am here because I'm looking for like-minded people that want to talk about these things. Like, the fact that Colleen Ballinger, like, everybody surrounding her has this mindset, it's like, you know... And that's the thing. He loves the attention. She, he cried. Look at that smile. Look at that smile. That's the smile of a guy that loves the attention. He is like loving the fact that he has hands. Oh my God, my little baby's there in the door. So I'm going to have to stop those with me. No, because she wants my attention. I'm going to give it to her, even though my husband is there. But um, yeah. Sorry about all the noise. Light. Well, that's basically what he said because, you know, he still continued doing it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, you guys, I will continue this later today because my daughter is asking for my attention and I just have to give it to her because I'm a mom, you know. Um, but I think I'm going to go live later today. So if you want to keep hearing my opinions on the subject, just um, log in tonight. Love you. Bye.